morning, fellers. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's an exciting day. It's an exciting day because I'm still here. I mean, I could have not woken up, right? And it's exciting because I'm up on my day off. And um, I'm off on Friday. Uh, let's see. Sunflower seeds. Oh, my gosh. Fresh sunflower seeds. Got these off of... Ah, good golly. Obviously, our sunflower plant outside. You can tell they're... Here, I'll show you. Um, see all this weird stuff in here? Obviously, I didn't really go through it, but... It's got little pieces of the sunflower plant in it. it actually, just looks like... I don't know. But you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Anyway, <clears throat> it's really good. Um, we're about to go for a walk here. And just a minute, Brownie looks as tired as I do. I really don't know what time it is. I don't know. I bet I could tell you in a second. Hey, it's 6.17 a.m. So it is early. <clears throat> We're going to be getting on our walk. Yesterday on our walk, we did about 9,000 steps. So it wasn't too bad. Actually, it felt really good. It was a lot of fun. Got back. I did about 15 kilometers on the bike. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, one thing I really feel good about is I did do the 1,000 crunches. The reason why I feel really good about that is because I've been able to see some results. Uh, like, in my, I don't know, the way my, you know, the more you work out something in consistency every day, the more you can, it, it, it takes on a new shape. Um, you know, you can just see more of the definition and it feels really good. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like those people that you look at that are in really good shape, and then you start looking like more like they do. You know, it's kind of a pretty cool thing. Um, yeah, so a thousand crunches yesterday. Man, uh, my shoulders uh, just been doing a little repair, so I cut way back on the uh, push-ups, and I uh, I only did fifty push-ups yesterday. It's just totally cool. I'm really happy with that. Um, I, I, and the reason why I'm telling you that is because it is important to do crunches if you're wanting to change the way your body is. Um, it, it is important. And you know, crunches you work up very slowly on. I, I remember, you know, when I first started doing crunches, I did like the real lazy, it's not lazy. It's just, a, I hadn't built up. So I, uh, I, whoo, man. Wasn't that long ago, but it was, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people do leg lifts. What I do is I do leg lifts now and I do the crunches and I go side to side and forward, but I'll constantly keeping my legs in the air so that I, you know, could feel it a lot more. Um, at first I'd kept one foot in the air and now I keep both at all times, um, you know, to be able to build up that area. At first, though, when I first started off, I was doing crunches, no legs in the air. And then I started with one, you know, and I'd go from one to the other. And now I do like the bicycle as well, you know, where you're kind of acting like you're riding a bike while you're doing the crunches. I mean, it really, as, you, as your body strengthens, and it will because of consistency doing them uh, at first, because exercise is completely a mental battle. You might be doing them every other day. You know, what I what I tell Darlene and anyone else that asks, or if I just am on here rambling, because I'm hoping that, you know, maybe, maybe my rambling might help out somebody out there. Uh, you know, it's, it's just consistency, you know, doing it every day. And, um, uh, Really, that's what it is. If you believe you can achieve, you will achieve. Um, and also like these sunflower seeds, 
I mean, good fat gets rid of bad fat. There's so much good in them. It's really cool okay, getting back to nature, though, being able to see your food as it's uh, coming up. And the fact that, you know, either you grew it or you're able to see where, you know, where you pick it and that it's actually coming from the ground and not a bag at the store and you have no idea where it came from. Got some green tomatoes in there uh, in the kitchen that I got out of the garden yesterday and I might uh, eat some of those. I don't want this video to go too long, so I'm going to do some other videos today, but um, uh, is there anything else I want to tell you? Anything else I think might bless your life? Oh, one other thing. When, when you are working out, and it's, you know, I got to tell you, it's not just consistency to a point. Every time I put something in my mouth, I'm considering... I'm cons oh, okay. Eating is a battle. For most people, it's an addiction and it's an emotional battle. If you're having that battle, you're no different than anyone else. If you've gotten the facts and you believe 100% in the facts that the healthiest diet is a plant based diet. If you've really done your research well, I believe 100% it is 100%, actually 1000%. It is the healthiest diet. It's giving you the raw materials you need to be able to rebuild your body. And you can, 3 million cells a day get replaced in your body. When you give it the raw materials from nature, food's the only thing that can rebuild it. No bullshit chicken. No bullshit beef, no freaking eggs, um, no dairy. There is nothing in these foods that are healthy for you. All you're going to do is get cholesterol and you're going to get fat. It's going to give you disease. I don't want to go off on a tangent on that. When you're looking at minerals and vitamins, they rebuild the body, period. This protein thing is a complete sham. You need to... They messed your thinking up. Forget that damn protein. Protein is in. Protein's in here. Okay. Pro, protein's in your in your food. If you only ate rice, you'd have plenty of protein. I don't know why I raised my voice there. It just irritates me. How everybody's brainwashed, caught into what I consider like a matrix, where they've stuck so many wires in you to brainwash you that you can't. You know, you can't see reality for what reality is. Reality has nothing to do with any word called protein. There is no legitimacy in protein. There is no legitimacy in what they're saying. You know, they don't even tell you that the re only reason why you might get cataracts is because you're, you're eating dairy. Why would you eat liquid meat? It, it makes no sense. Meat is not good for you. It's just not. Only if you're starving. If you're an Eskimo and you can only eat a whale or you're going to die, then eat your meat. Because it's the only thing that you have you can shove in your mouth. And Eskimos don't live very long. Look at it. They die. Heart disease. Type 2 diabetes. Cancer. Colon cancer. You're setting yourself up for an early death. I, you know. Yeah. Man. The diseases you have, 99% of them, I know the stats aren't exactly 99%. You can look it up. If you have a disease, how can you reverse it? Potentially. But if you care, plant-based diet. Um, yeah. So. Uh, anyway, we're about to go on a walk. Brownie's over there sleeping. I uh, can't flip the camera on him right now. Anyway. Um, he's a trip. He's laying on his back on the couch. Y'all have a wonderful day. Ah, right, good morning to ya. But yeah, you. We're gonna get out there, eat your protein. Nah, plant protein. And really, what I mean by protein is eat your food. Eat your food that's gonna replace those three million cells. 
And you know what? I promise you, I'm going to try to be more, I don't know, man. The emotional battle and the addiction, uh, I I think to resonate with you, I think I'm just going to need to really concentrate on being, I don't know, like more positive. I'm here for you. If you have any questions, please comment. If you'd like or think about going plant-based, please subscribe to the channel. And, um, and uh, or please like the channel or please like this, uh, you know, like the video. I got to tell you something. We love y'all. Y'all have a beautiful morning. We're going to go out there and hit the trails. We'll say hi to you there.